Hello Libra, welcome to your love reading for October 2021. We're going to be looking at the 411 of your connection, uh, what's going on in your connection, how do you feel about each other, anything that you need to know, where it's all headed, that's going to be all in this reading. And then the extended will be the 411 on your person. What do you need to know about them, their true intentions, feelings, next actions, all of that will be in the extended um, so if this resonates for you, then feel free to check that out. It'll be linked in the description box and pinned in the comments. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Libra watching. So just keep that in mind. Not every reading is for you. Take what resonates, what applies to your situation, leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance. Um, all of the playlists are linked in the description box. All right, for Libra, oh, I have a little ant. What does Libra need to know, Spirit? What does Libra need to know in terms of love for October? What does Libra need to know for love for October 2021? So let's see what we get for you, Libra. Okay, uh, what's going on in your connection right now? The current situation king of coin page of wands reverse okay interesting what do you need to know about this any insight challenges five of wands reversed the high priestess secrets okay some some someone's keeping a secret in order to avoid drama is what i'm picking up here or in order to avoid conflict they don't want to rock the boat how do you feel about this person six of swords reverse ten of swords reverse I feel like you don't want this person or this situation to end. We'll see if that's the case. How do they feel about you? We have the Queen of Wands reverse and the Ace of Cups reverse. Yikes. So they're heartbroken, disappointed, possibly because they have pissed you off here or upset you in some way. Maybe they're heartbroken at their own mistakes or the fact that they didn't make the right choices because the queen of wands reverse they tend to kind of make things worse okay what do you need to know any hidden factors king of wands reverse yikes we have the page of wands reverse king of wands reverse queen of wands reverse these energies are of people that jump into things without thinking they don't follow through they jump into messes like basically they make things worse for themselves so i don't know what this yeah nine of cups they were thinking of themselves with whatever decision they were making here whatever mistake this was because i i strongly feel there was someone here that made a mistake and i think it might have been your person but of course if you flip it if it resonates more maybe you jumped into something without thinking what is the potential outcome here four of wands interesting page of coin okay so i feel like someone here wants to do damage control that's what i see so why is all of this happening what's the root at the bottom of the deck eight of coin reverse well someone's not able to put an effort energy focus into something it's bad work it's bad effort someone also could have put in their hard work and energy into the wrong thing as well so let's get some clarity. Can I have some clarity, please, Spirit, for Libra? What do we need to know for Libra? Some insight, clarity, please, Spirit, for Libra. Okay, so let's start with the Eight of Coin reverse. Why is the Eight of Coin? Hold on, that was sh crappy shuffling. Hang on. Okay. Tell me about the eight of coin reverse. But if you were curious, that was the strength card that wanted to come out, Leo energy. Why is the eight of coin reverse? Why is this happening? Oh, hold on, my card's coming out. Four of coin, I did that for Gemini's reading as well. Let me double check, okay. This is supposed to be an all upright deck. <laughs> Tell me about the eight of coin reverse. Why is the eight of coin reverse? I feel like someone wasn't able to give here 
Ten of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. It's almost like someone was like holding on to something or wasn't very open to 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 being able to give. You know, they, their hands are tied up, so they can't really give. And it could be because there's already something here with the Ten of Pentacles, a long-term commitment, or perhaps because they were being um, focused on like maybe they have family obligations or uh, expectations from their family, financial obligations. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Queen of Pentacles. So for a lot of you, this could be somebody that's already com in a commitment or this is with you. You are in a long-term commitment with this person. However, they're not giving to this connection. But I feel like for some of you, there's definitely the possibility of someone already being in a commitment of some sort because someone screwed up here. <laughs> I mean, it, it just I just see it. And I have the King of Coin here. And you, typically the King of Coin for me as a reader is already in a commitment. They tend to already be married and are providers for a family, what, you know, things like that. Hold on. I don't know what's going on with my deck today. I feel like I keep dropping cards. Okay, so let's see what happened here with this Page of Wands, Reverse, and the King of Coin. Spirit, what happened here with the King of Coin and the Page of Wands, Reverse? King of Swords. What happened with the King of Coin and the Page of Wands reverse? Nine of Swords. Someone scared of the truth? What is this? Fearful, anxious of the truth? Tell me about the King of Coin and the Page of Wands reverse. Scared of what they have to say? Justice, Libra energy, there you are. You know, for some of you, I feel like this person was afraid of what you could find out. Um, or they're afraid of telling you the truth. It's one of those two. And I feel like this person has been keeping something to themselves. So how the high priest is here with the five of wands reversed. And this is like what you need to know about the situation. And I feel like they're they're keeping it to themselves to keep the peace. Because they don't want to rock the boat. They don't want to add more fuel to the fire. Tell me about the High Priestess and the Five of Wands reverse. Why is the High Priestess here? With the Five of Wands reverse. Page of Wands. Okay. What is going on? Three of Cups and the Seven of Wands. I don't just drop cards like that, but I feel like I've been doing that. Seven of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, there's someone else here. And, and I feel like they're trying to kind of like... With the Seven of Wands, it's almost like they want to control the situation and guard something here like guard information i don't know why i'm getting this energy but i am it's like they don't want to have drama or they don't want to cause more problems and so they're being very careful about what they say what they do here tell me about this three of cups Tell me about the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? The Magician. So they're trying to make something happen. A five of Pentacles, and then there's the Strength card again. Leo Energy. And the Five of Swords. Yeah. It's like they want to control the situation because they're trying to avoid conflict. They want to avoid being shut out or put out in the cold or they want to avoid struggle um they want to avoid something here so let's see how you're feeling about each other what are your energies towards each other what do we need to know
Tell me about the energies between Libra and this other person, Spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the person? Or the energies, I guess I should say, between Libra and this person that they're dealing with. Tell me about Libra's energy. Tell me about Libra's energies. Patiently waiting. Okay, tell me about the person that Libra is dealing with. Tell me about this person's energy, the person that Libra is dealing with. What are their energies towards Libra? Moving forward. Interesting. So what I'm getting here, uh, falling leaves at the bottom of the deck, by the way, I got two different messages. The message that I'm seeing that's very strong here is that some of you are dealing with a person who has told you they're leaving a situation and you're just waiting for them to do that, but it has not happened. It has not happened. The ending that they're supposed to have has not happened. For others of you, I feel like You've been waiting for this person to make a move. And it, and for whatever reason, they can't. And I feel like the longer you wait, it's, it's almost like you've been waiting for a while with falling leaves here. Time has passed. Tell me about the seven, not the seven. Tell me about the six of swords reverse and the 10 of swords reverse. Tell me about the six of swords reverse. The Ten of Swords reverse. Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Swords reverse and the Ten of Swords reverse. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you your wish would be for this person to drop whatever it is that they have going on and to be free. To no longer be in this Ten of Wands situation, this Five of Wands situation that I have here at the bottom of the deck. It's like you want them to be done with that, but there's secrets about that, Libra. There's something that I don't feel this person has been completely honest with you about, and that's been a running theme for my Libras. Uh, check out your playlist if you wanna see those videos. I feel like someone has not been honest with you, and I see that here with the High Priestess. So why is the Queen of Wands reverse with the Ace of Cups reverse? Why is the Queen of Wands reversed with the Ace of Cups reverse? Knight of Cups and the Hermit, Virgo energy. It's like they want to apologize, I feel. King of Wands, Seven of Swords. Yeah, be careful though. Because I think, once again, it's like damage control. I'm, 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 that's the energy I'm picking up. Like someone's doing damage control or someone's playing both sides. I don't like the energy. I don't know if this person has ghosted you or just not been very communicative lately. Because I have the hermit here. But it's not what you it's not what you think or what they're telling you. There's something, there's a missing part of this. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse with the Nine of Cups. Why is the King of Wands reverse with the Nine of Cups? Why is the King of Wands reverse with the Nine of Cups? Why is the King of Wands reverse with the Nine of Cups? Four of Swords. This is what's um, hidden, what's going on behind the scenes, like hidden factors, what you need to know. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse and the Nine of Cups. Well, the Four of Swords isn't taking any action. Page of Cups. Interesting. The Chariot.
Well, the chariot, cancer energy. This is about movement. But the four of swords is the opposite. And in the middle, I have the page of cups. I'm getting like sweet talking energy here. Like they're telling you one thing and doing another. And in the in middle of it, it's almost like someone's waiting here with the nine of wands or someone's guarded again. And it could be that they're apologizing too. I'm sorry for what I'm not doing. I'm sorry that something hasn't happened, you know, but I promise I'm going to make a move here with the chariot. Yeah, and maybe they are. Maybe they're willing to balance things out here. Make a move of some sort. But I don't know. I just, I don't know. It feels off. It could be that this person has done a lot of thinking and reflecting and it, they've come to this point because the Four of Swords is a card about planning, reflecting, healing. Um, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. And, you know, I, I want to make it clear that Knight of Cups, Page of Cups is someone that is revealing their feelings, talking about their feelings, but they're not like a king of wands upright or a knight of pentacles. Page of pentacles is here though. So I don't want to just, I want to give this person the benefit of the doubt that they will make some sort of move that leads to something long-term or some sort of action. Because right now what I see is talk, but this person, they don't want you to know something or they're worried about you finding out something or they're worried to tell you some about telling you something. So that's why when I see this here, you know, I don't want to get my hopes up and say, oh yeah, this person's planning to make a move for sure. Because I just, I have to also think about the rest of the energy on the board. And the King of Wands reverse is the main energy here with the Nine of Cups. So I think that this is someone that is wanting to basically have their cake and eat it too. They want to have their needs fulfilled while being a King of Wands reverse. Do you know what I mean? So be very careful with that. I don't want to just say what it, you know, I could sit here and, and dress this up as a great energy and, you know, give you lots of hope, but that just not, I, I'm not that type of reader. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the outcome here. This looks good. Four of Wands, Page of Coin. Why is the Four of Wands and the Page of Coin here? What can you tell me about the Four of Wands and the Page of Coin? Six of Cups. Okay, that's good energy too. Tell me about the Four of Wands and the Page of Coin. Ten, okay. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. I was th thinking 10 because 10 of Wands is here, 10 the Wheel of Fortune. Where's the other 10? 10? 10 of Pentacles is here. Wheel of Fortune and 6 of Cups. So it's, I think instantly of Divine Timing, Soulmates. Maybe this is what you've been waiting for, for this Page of Coin to arrive. Now the Page of Coin is a small offer, but it, it has potential. Can I get one more for the Four of Wands page of coin? Why is the Four of Wands here spread with the page of coin? Eight of Wands, nice. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is movement forward. Um, I'm seeing, you know, some sort of progression. Communication, perhaps. And then I have the Eight of Swords at the bottom with the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So, you know, I feel like be very careful, Libra, because if there is a third party involved, that has to be addressed. You know, someone needs to address that. I feel like this is someone that's a little bit scared of rocking the boat or of having things blow up in their face or scared of, you know, a third person. Um, but the outcome looks very positive, you know. I feel like this Wheel of Fortune is here to assist. And the Chariot is here as well. So I'm thinking that there's possibility here for this person making that move forward that they need to make. But make no mistake, this is leaving something behind. You know, they have to leave something behind. 
And I feel like if they do, this has potential for being a really great outcome. You know? So we'll have to see in the extended um, what exactly this person's planning to do next or, you know, what, what are they like... What are their energies, you know, their intentions? I want to get one more for them, though. Can I get some insight into this hermit before I close out this reading? Can I get some insight into the hermit spirit? Why is the hermit here? Ace of Swords. Okay, so what I'm thinking is this person is thinking about talking to you. We have the devil, Capricorn energy, king of pentacles, judgment, um, I feel like this person is going to talk to you. And I think with the Ace of Swords, I feel like it's going to be a very open conversation, a very honest conversation, which I think they're stressing out about. Or maybe you're just stressed out because you haven't heard from them. But I feel like communication is like the next thing that they're really thinking about. I just don't think they've made the action. They've taken the action just yet. So let's give them the benefit of the doubt. I feel like in the future, there's a turning point that's going to happen in this connection with the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands, something very positive. So that's what I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Uh, feel free to check out the extended if you want to get the 411 on your person. We're going to be pulling tons of oracles and getting some insight into their energies, next actions, true intentions. All of that will be in the extended. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to see more readings from me. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.